Yo, good morning. I'm upstairs in the fitness culture office. Gymshark stuff. Gymshark samples of my new line. Can't even show that. Hopefully in the next three months, I'll be able to tell you more about that. Today's a leg day. We're on the Swole program. Fitness culture app right now. We do have our challenge going on that you guys can sign up for. You can actually get a chance to win a year worth of culture supplements and a year's worth into the fitness culture app. So we're gonna be doing, like I said, Swole program. My whole goal, the last really six weeks, well, no, even before that, eight weeks now, has been to gain muscle. I probably averaged working out three days a week. So I got back from Mexico weighing like 207, maybe even like 205 like at my lightest, which for me, I haven't been that light since I was in high school. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna worry about being super shredded or, you know, I'm gonna worry about getting into the gym, eating enough calories and working out. We're gonna go down, we're gonna hit a leg workout with the Vanilla Gorilla, he's down there right now. We actually have a, have a little race to 225. All right, so Jake and I, we're gonna see who can get to 225 faster. So I am 119, really, I got this. 219. Oh yeah, sorry, not 119, 219. <laughs> I got this pack on, so I'm probably like two, 218 and a half, let's be honest. So I, I got six pounds, let's say. I got, I got six to seven pounds. I'm not taking your shoes off. So no, no, you're good. Take two pounds off. Oh, no, you don't need to take two pounds off. I'm not you think? Oh, for everything? Okay. So I'm saying I'm 218. Oh, come on. You're 238. Jeez. 230. We'll say 237. Because you're 238.7. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're 237. So I got to lose 12 pounds. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you got to. I got to gain, gain six. six. All right. So the warm up. Basically, we got some leg lifts, band pull-throughs, glute bridge. We're not gonna show that. We're gonna jump straight into the actual workout today, which is front squats, which is nice, because actually these, uh, these ollies are actually gonna come into use here, these shoes. But we got uh, barbell front squat, working off of one rep max. We got leg press. Um, we're super setting that with a standing calf raise. Then we got a close stance squat on the Smith machine. One of my favorites. Again, started talking about how we can kind of target areas superset with a seated calf raise and then we got some dumbbell walking lunges we might throw some other things in there we're actually gonna warm up the central nervous system also with a little snatch figured i got the ollies on might as well do a little snatch why not all right guys so our first exercise today the front squat we got 12 10 8 6. now the reason we like the front squat we also have a back squat um, in our swole program but with the reason we like focusing on the front squat gives you really proper mechanics, teaches you how to keep your upright, your torso upright. It's a little bit more quad dominant just because we are so upright. Also really gonna work on core strength. It's almost like doing a heavy plank as we're doing our front squats. It's gonna lead into actually transitioning into helping out with our back squat when we eventually max out because again, teaching us proper movement, mechanics, and as well as strengthening that core. And again, a lot of that quad, a lot more quad dominant. So first set of 12 on the way. All right, so little gym hack here. If you have some lifting straps, you can wrap them around the bar. And basically what this will allow you to do is be in that proper front rack position. But if you lack the mobility, you won't be stretching you as far. So wrap it around the wrist. We're just gonna come up into that front rack position here. So first set on this, we're gonna go a little bit closer than a neutral stance. And it's, again, it's gonna be targeting all these quad muscles. The further down we get, mo, mo, the mo posterior chain, we get more glute. All right, so for this next set, since we've been doing a lot close stance, I'm gonna go a little bit wider, target the inside of this quad. Closer our stance, more of that sweep we're getting. So we're gonna go a little bit wider, really try to get the inner part of it. These two look like they're from the same family tree right now. 
shaved heads, tattoos, both strong as shit. So we got close stance Smith machine squat right now. This is just a quad dominant day. Later on in the week, we'll, we have our hamstring day, but quads, calves. So third exercise here, superset, close stance on the Smith machine. Again, we're just focusing right now on that outer sweep and then follow it up with seated calf raise. So a little bit higher reps here. We're gonna really concentrate slow and controlled. We're going ass to grass on this. You're gonna get a great stretch all the way down the quad there. If you don't have a, a Smith machine, you can always do these, you know, with a dumbbell actually. Put a BOSU ball behind your back on a wall and do them. I used to do those when I didn't have a Smith machine. You can do those. But again, I'm leaning back slightly. Feet are close together. My knees are actually gonna track over my toes all the way down. Oh, that stretch feels good. And then slow and controlled up. the time under tension with this one straight into our seated calf raise here All right, here we got our last set of the day. It's a tri-set. We got walking lunges with dumbbells or kettlebells, sissy squats, and a leg extension. So hammering away on those quads today. We got 12 reps each leg. After our walking lunges, we got a little sissy squat here. So this one's going to be a dramatic knee drive over the toe. We have a six inch soft platform here. If you can't do that, you can do something where you hold on to a rack, to something that's stationary. Biggest thing here, try not to just slam into the pad. So as we go down, knees, 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 come up, trying to keep that upper torso almost upright. Again, I don't want to be here and then back up. A good rep is here, straight up. Third and final exercise here, one and one quarter rep on the leg extension. So a lot of volume today, time under tension, finishing that off, just forcing so much blood in here. There's a reason why we have these last we're gonna be coming up to the top, control it, quarter down, all the way up, all the way down, up, quarter, back down. And we're doing 10 of those, everything slow and controlled. As you can see at the top, I force my toes out there, there, quarter, ah, control. going to need to be rolled out in a wheelchair today. Definitely one of the more punishing leg workouts, quad, quad workouts. I keep saying leg. It was just a quad day. We'll have the hamstring day later on this week, but doing it this way really allows us to attack the quads. Again, if you guys are interested, if you want to get back onto a program, start seeing the biggest thing, you know, I know with, with fitness culture stuff, we have lots of programs. We have at home with no equipment, we have in the garage, limited equipment. We have six in the gym programs. So whatever your goals are, we have the knowledge. We have the people behind it. Myself, Jake, people that we've done this for long enough. If you want to get on a program, see progress in a way that you come into the gym, you know what you're training, progressive overload. Every eight to 12 weeks, we're changing up the split 
you know, whether it's a back squat progression, a front squat progression, a bench press progression, we're gonna get you stronger. But yeah, we have that going on right now. If you guys are looking for something new, kind of switch up that training program, check that out. That'll be in the description. That's a good quad day. I'm gonna go do my mobility. Appreciate you guys. Catch you next time.